Hi, this is the first of a set of three videos looking at ways to get internet access in your van using 3 and 4G. In this video, we'll look at simple and cheaper ways that will get you online and some tips and tricks for making them perform better. In part two, we'll look at more advanced and therefore expensive options for if you need even better performance and connectivity. And finally, in part three, we'll look at the currently available data SIM card deals for getting online. So, let's get started. Don't miss any of our regular videos by hitting that subscribe button now. You can also check out our website at explorevan.uk for more details on our vans, trips and all the products we talk about. There are three main ways to make use of 3G or 4G cellular mobile internet, which has pretty good coverage over most of Europe. The service is provided using the same cell towers as used for your mobile phone. First, you could use a tablet or laptop or other device that has built-in 3G or 4G. You just need to choose a network and a data plan and put a mobile SIM card in. We'll talk about the best plans in part 3. If you want to use the internet on more than one device, or you've got devices that can't have a cellular SIM card inserted, you'll need a device that will receive the cellular signal and connect it to your other devices by Wi-Fi. You may already have a smartphone that will enable you to create a personal hotspot and we'll show you exactly how to do that shortly and then we'll explain why you may want to choose a dedicated MyPi unit instead which does the same job. Most smartphones can be used as a personal hotspot enabling you to connect other devices to them using Wi-Fi. It depends on the device how many you can connect but usually it's between 5 and 10. Do be sure to check the terms and conditions of your contract or prepaid account as some networks limit what they usually call tethering entirely or sometimes exclude things like streaming sticks from your inclusive data. So if you have the data available it's just a case of finding the menu on the phone where you switch on the personal hotspot and then connecting your other devices to it. Being inside a metal box as we are in a van, you will probably find areas where the signal isn't great with your phone inside. So you may want to consider using a separate device to your usual phone. So you could use an old phone that you might have lying around in a drawer or a relatively cheap MiFi unit, which does everything you'll need. You will need an additional SIM card for the cellular connection, but there are some great deals around. Then you have the option of popping the MiFi or phone into a waterproof box and have it outside the van. If we pop it on the roof, we always leave an indicator through the roof light to make sure we remember to take it down before moving. Or sometimes we pop it on a pole to get an even better height and signal. When we use this option, we also run a long USB cable to the box to keep it powered. You can see here that even in this relatively good 3G signal area, the difference from outside to inside. We found one of the main advantages of using a dedicated MiFi over a phone is that once it's in the box outside, you can't change the settings on the phone. With the MiFi, you get an app that you can use on the device that's connected so that you can block any devices you want to, monitor your usage and configure the Wi-Fi. So our recommendation for a really easy, cheap solution is this Huawei 3G 4G MiFi that can be picked up on Amazon for around £40, a suitable waterproof box and a long USB cable to plug it in. There are links for all of these items in the video notes. Coming up in our next video, we'll look at slightly more complex options which give you greater performance and flexibility and compare them with the simple options we've talked about in this video. After that, in part three, we'll look at the various different data plans from the different networks in the UK which may suit you best. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.